Hi everybody, welcome back to Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Hua. Today we're going to be showing you how to prepare for your SMAW horizontal test. The purpose of this test is to have you qualify to weld structural steel in Canada. Just to be more clear, you have to qualify for your flat position first before you tackle this test. So why would you want this ticket? Well, basically it opens up the door to opportunity. This qualifies you to weld structural steel in Canada, therefore making you more employable. In this video, we're gonna show you what equipment you need to perform the test. We're gonna show you how to prep your coupon. We're gonna show you how to weld out your coupon. And we're also gonna show you how to process the plate for the bed test. Here's the equipment that you'll need. A coupon cut to CWB specifications, 7018 rod out of an oven, proper PPE, a constant current power source, your grinder, and your grinding disc. No grinding allowed. Wire wheel is all you get. Let's prep our coupon. Now a really nice resource which is available in the link in the description is this S-Class handbook and it shows you how to properly perform this test. Before I do the test, I'm going to need to remove the mill scale from anywhere weld is going to be. It's time to fit up and tack our coupon. The horizontal position calls for a 5 16 root gap some testing facilities will have coupons ready for you to weld out, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be using our jig. I'm going to be placing my tacks in here on the four corners. And keep in mind, as per specification, they cannot be more than 3 eighths of an inch long. So you've probably heard of the ABCs of welding, which is always be comfortable. What I like to do is spread my feet out, put my hip on the table, and tuck my elbow onto my stand. That way, the only piece of my body that moves is where I'm welding. Once you're done tacking your coupon, your CSR will stamp it and mark your start stop. There'll be no start stop on the square side, it'll be up on the bevel side. I'll be using a 1 8 7018 and I'm going to run this whole bottom pass in one go. I'll start over here on the backing plate, get my arc started, warm it up, and then run that through. Our root opening is 5 16 of an inch wide. The first bead I put in there has to be smaller than that because I do not want to catch that top bevel. As you can see, the soot from my first pass has covered up my mark. There's a quick and easy trick to get around that. I recommend wire wheeling after every pass. Now that it's clean, I'm going to run my first pass on the beveled edge up to my stop. It 
It's important to tie both the bevel and your first bead together. Once you get to this point, you would go grab your CSR and have a look. Now it's time to tie into that bead and finish the pass. The proper way to get a good tie-in is to start on the back of your crater, wash in to your crater, pause for a moment, and then move. That way you're not trapping any slag and you're letting that bead soak in. Brought the coupon up to flush by running a series of small hot passes. You may have noticed the slag peeling. That's a good indication that your travel speed and position are going well. I've made sure to leave my bottom edge showing as that gives me a nice line to follow. This last pass is prone to undercut, so I'm going to come in with a pretty aggressive angle on my rod to try to fight that heat and gravity. The coupon is welded out we are going to let it cool to the touch. I hope that me showing you the tools you'll need, how to fit up your coupon, and how to weld out your coupon has been helpful. Thanks very much for watching Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Black.